Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hi everyone, today I will introduce to you a new product of gsheets.com which is a lifetime Google Sheets calendar along with the tasks and events manager. The best thing about this calendar is that it's totally based on Google Sheets inbuilt functions. So you don't have to install any script or add-on. Besides that, you can easily integrate this calendar with your other Google Sheets which makes it more productive. For this demo, I will integrate it with the project management system which we introduced in our previous video. If you haven't checked that and are interested to see that, then you can watch it by clicking on the link of this video. Feature of this calendar can be seen on the screen. Now coming to the calendar, here is how the calendar looks like. In this tab, user only need to change the month, year and have to select the day to start the week. The calendar below will update automatically. Now let me show you function of each field. First user will select the month. In month drop down, user can see all 12 months along with the option of whole year. If user selects some specific month, then only that month will be displayed in the calendar. And if user selects whole year, then calendar of complete year will be shown. The next field is of year in which user have to select the year for which he wants to see the calendar. And the last field is of the week's starting day. Let me give you an example to show their working. For example, if user want to see the calendar of 2010 whole year, then in the month field he will select the whole year and in the year he will type 2010. As can be seen on the screen, 2010 calendar is updated. Let me give another example. Let's say user wants to see the calendar of month March 2015. Then in the month he will select March and in the year he will type 2015. The selected month can be seen on the screen. Now coming to the last field of the day to start the week. In this field Monday is selected that's why in the calendar the first day of the calendar week is Monday. Now let me change it to Sunday. As can be seen on the screen, calendar have updated and the first day of the week now is Sunday. That's the end of the calendar demo. Now let me show you tasks, events and holiday manager. This is quite simple. In the first column user have to add date and on the second column he have to select whether he wants to add holiday or task or an event. And in the last column he have to provide the details of the selected option. For example, let me add a holiday on 1st January 2020. Based on your country, you can get public holiday list and can add it at once here and it will be shown in the calendar. Next, let me add a task on 14th of November 2020. And at last, let me add an event on 25th of February 2020. As you must have noticed, the system automatically gives yellow color to the holidays, green colors to the tasks, and red color to the events. Now let's see the changes in the calendar. First, let us see the whole year calendar of 2020. As can be seen, holiday, tasks, and events are added on their respective dates in the calendar with same color pattern which were in the entry sheet. Now let us see the month of February 2020 individually. Tasks can be seen in it. Now I will integrate project management system whose video I published last week and its link can be seen on the screen. It's quite easy to integrate that with this calendar. User will simply have to use import range function to import all tasks to this Google Sheet and it will be added in the calendar. Let me add that. In order to import data, I will use the following formula in cell A6. After that, I will have to allow access to that sheet. As can be seen, all tasks are added here. And if user adds any new task in the project management system, it will be added automatically here. Now let's see changes in the calendar. As you can see, all tasks are added in the calendar. That's it for this video. I hope you must have liked this calendar and task manager. In case if you want to purchase it or have any other query, then feel free to get in touch with us on our Facebook page or you can email us on info at gshares.com. Thank you.